is Charlotte and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm showing you 10 Snapchat hacks that you need to know. Hopefully you know some of them because I knew a few of these already, but a few of these I was really surprised that I hadn't heard before, so hopefully I am helping you out. First hack, going over into the chat section or it will say snaps if you haven't updated it yet. If you just tap that up there where it says chats, it will switch to two numbers. So the number on the left, the 6,000 one for me, is the number of snaps I have sent ever. And on the right, the 8,000 number for me is the number of snaps I have ever received. So I don't know how that could ever help you out, but that is what your Snapchat score is basically made up of. By the way, that's my username. Feel free to add me. I will also have the username somewhere here. Um, on the screen, so feel free to add me if you like. Yeah, I know it's weird. It's a result of 7th grade Charlotte logic. So for my next hack, if you go over back to the chat section, you can see I have a bunch of like emojis next to my friends' names. Those stand for a bunch of different things. So if you don't know what those mean, slash you want to change them, I am here for you. So you're going to go over to the main screen then slide down to go to your profile screen, and in the top right corner there's a settings thing, so tap that, and down where it says additional services, tap manage, then tap friend emojis, and there you go! This page right here is an explanation of all of the friend emojis that there are, and Spoiler, you can change them if you want. Alright, there you go. So you can switch it to whatever you want, and if you want to go back, you can hit reset to default down at the bottom. Third hack does not involve my phone. You can design your own geotag. If you go onto snapchat.com, super easy, it has right there at the top of the screen, design your own geotag. I designed my own geotag for my school. I submitted it within a few days, they accepted it, and now my friends can go ahead and use it. Actually, now that I think about it, someone just used it. Right there, the GV, that is uh, the geotag that I created, and it's weird seeing people use it. But there you go, I just made it on Photoshop and it was great. So for my fourth hack, this is a way to see if someone added you back, like later on, or if someone unadded you. My catch is you have to have added them, all right? So as an example, you go up to the screen, uh, go to my friends, um, let's see, hi Larissa, so just hold down their name, and here I can see her score, so that means that she has added me back. Same with all these people. Let's see if we can find someone. Here you go. I can't see Adam's score here. If you don't know who he is, please add him on Snapchat. He is hilarious. Um, which means he did not add me back because he is way too popular to ever add me back. But, um, yep, so that is a way that you can tell. Same with Adeline. She did not add me back. Tears. But, yep, that is a way that you can tell if someone has added you back. So for my fifth hack, there are more colors than what you think there are on Snapchat. I assume you know this one already, most people know this, but I was really surprised when my friend didn't know this the other day, and I was really surprised, so I'm gonna tell you guys anyway. So go ahead, take a picture. Oh, that one was great. And then when you hit the writing tool, there's the rainbow, yes. If you move all the way to the left, you can get white, right with white. If you move all the way down, you can get black. If you kind of go near the white, you can get like different shades of pastels. And if you go down to the black, you can get like a brownish color. They got some great colors going on. Basically, you can get the entire rainbow. They got gray over here too. If you go all the way on the far side, you can get different shades of gray as well. So there are a bunch of different colors. Those are some of the ugliest colors ever. There are a bunch of different colors that you can get with Snapchat, so there you go. So my next hack is how to take Snapchat videos without holding down the button, which I wish I had known this last week because my friend dropped her phone off a five-story balcony and she had Snapchat open and it would have been so funny if we got that on video. Also wasn't cracked at all. I don't know how it happened. It was amazing. This is where it gets complicated. Let's leave Snapchat and let us go over to settings. Go to settings, then you tap on general to accessibility. You go to the interaction section down here and you hit assistive touch. Turn that on. Create new gesture. All right, so all you're going to do is put your finger on the screen and you're going to make a little circle gesture, try to keep it as perfect as you can all the way until the bar fills. Alright, so save it, call it Snapchat if you'd like, save. Alright, beautiful, yes, now let us go back to Snapchat. Alright, so before recording, tap the icon, hit custom, and then click Snapchat, alright, and then just tap there. Um, 
and then it should be recording. No hands. No hands. Look, there's you guys. Smile. Oh, it worked. Woo! <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Okay. Hi, guys. I'm back. I got Starbucks. Andreas here. Andreas, say hi. <laughs> also, currently on my screen, that would be Larissa. Say hi, Larissa. Larissa. She saw that I was filming and then decided to FaceTime me. All right. All right. So, seventh. Ha! This is how to zoom in on the picture if you like doing all the drawing things. I don't know. I Ooh, thought this was cool. So, you're going to... Alright, you're gonna go to settings. To general. And then once again, go to accessibility. Go to zoom and turn zoom on. So, let's go back to Snapchat. Alright. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there we go. So you can zoom in on your face. And I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll zoom in here and I'll like trace this. I don't know what I'm doing. Three fingers will make it come back. Three fingers will make it go away. Number eight, I also feel like a lot of people know, but I might as well just show you in case you didn't, because I have been surprised at how many things people don't know. Wow, look at how great of a picture that is. Alright, so pick the thing at the top, where it's for emojis, and where is the heart? Alright, what color should we do? Pink? Purple? Purple. Pink, Alright, you make it bigger. Oh. A little more. A little more. Just keep fade enlarging it, it. You gotta fade it out. Good enough, good enough. Alright, so there you go. Now we're purple. Wow. Holes. Alright, so that's how you can do a bunch of different color filters using an emoji. Alright guys, so for my ninth hack, also my tongue screen. So for my ninth hack, this is something that someone taught me. Basically, there was someone sending me a lot of Snapchats. And I did not want to respond to them, but at the same time, I didn't want to have to deal with opening them. This is a way for you to not even open their Snapchats if you don't want to, like, block them, you know what I mean? Like, unadd them. As you can see here, I have a Snapchat from my friend Jack. So if I want to get rid of this without him, like, without it showing that I opened it or anything, then I go to the main screen, go down to your profile screen, hit settings, and then go down to the bottom to clear conversations. And then these are all the conversations you can clear. So you can just go to Jack, hit a little X, and now it's gone. And it shouldn't say that I opened it or anything, so that is a great way to ignore people. All right, so my last hack, I'm like dividing into two. Go to settings again, and then I'm gonna have to block out my phone and everything. All right, then go to manage. And then you can turn on this thing here called travel mode. So it basically reduces the amount of data that you're using. This is great if you're about to run out of data on your package, if your phone's about to die and you need to start using less, or if you're overseas. I wish I had known this when I was in Spain because Snapchat was using so much of my international data, it was rough. So you can turn that on. And then the other half of this hack, which is about something totally different, here you can put your birthday in. So you put in your birthday and then you can turn on this thing called birthday party. Basically what it is is a little birthday cake is going to appear next to your name on your birthday so everyone will know it's your birthday and all the snapchats that you open are going to look like presents. It's amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and maybe even subscribe and I don't even know what else to say. There will be more videos coming soon and I will see all of you guys next time for my next video. Bye! <laughs> Bye! I knew that was coming. I was, I was like, finish talking.